I'm going to do it as a match report as well. I'm going to just talk about the game. I'm not going to get stressed about the fact we've lost or, or been pasted, been pasted by a team it should have been four or five nil. So I'm not going to be ranting and raving like Arsenal TV or whatever. I'm just going to the game, the facts of the game. Now, obviously, it's a, it's a bad start for us because we're missing Dennis the Menace straight away. Uh, apparently, he's got a muscle strain. He's going to be out for 10 days. So, the, the team ain't going to be, you know, what we wanted it to be. Said so before the game, every week, when he's fit, when he's available, it's got to be Dennis and, and Barry. And I'd sit Luongo in there if he's fit because that milky display midfield yesterday. Entire point of playing three in midfield is that you don't get overrunning there. We're completely overrunning there. Completely overrunning there. It's one of the milkiest midfield displays that I've seen for years. We've had Lahukai and Monk and then the, the last two seasons of Carlos. I said I wasn't going to do this. Right, facts. Game facts. So, Jaden Brown. Is dropped. I did a preview thing on Friday night saying that good teams are built around people like Jaden Brown who get 7 out of 10 every week. Yeah, 7 out of 10, you were. Well, no. Because you drop somebody who's steady and performs week in, week in, like that, and who's got a steady level of performance, and, that, and you get what we got. So, Palmer comes back in at left back. I don't mind the permanent left back. I, I, I do think he concentrates a bit more here. Johnson goes on to the left wing. I've not seen out really from Johnson on wing. He, he's looked best at me when he's been at full back because he gets that bit of space. Hutchinson comes back in, understandable. And obviously Dennis is out, so Byers and wing come in middle with Barry Bannon. The first minute, the first minute, it poor. The th right. Sometimes you lose a game. Sometimes you lose a game. Or, or you start a game badly, sorry. You start a game badly, but you know what's wrong. Maybe they've caught you on up. Maybe you're not warmed up properly. And, and, and these things happen. They might score a float goal. You knew from the first two minutes that we weren't getting out. From the first two minutes. It's not to do with physicality or being properly warmed up it, to do with that. And one of the, the big giveaways, and it doesn't matter what level you play, whether it's Sunday League or kids in a playground or international level, and it's that thing. When things are going well, players are looking before ball comes. They're looking. Right, what am I going to do with it when I get it? Then ball comes, bang, it's already gone, Right? We're passing the ball, it's like, oh, get it under control. Now I'll have a look what I'm going to do with it. <clears throat> oh, it's too late, somebody's nicked it off me toe. That happened to about five or six players in the first two minutes. First, and when that happens, you know. The next 89 minutes or whatever it is, next 95 minutes, you know. Because when that happens, it means you're not switched on. And you can't switch You can't switch people on if, if they, when they're not. You can't do it. So, I knew from the first five minutes... Getting out today. That's that's a fact. In your head, you're trying to mentally that nah, let's cling on and get a point today because you know you, you know from that when when people aren't looking up to see where they're going to pass it until they've got the ball, you know you fucked. Sorry. So straight away, you know, and then we go goal behind. So sloppy. On ball, giving it away, cheap, under it passes. Comes down the left, ball in, peak up Farrell, who's been brilliant, probably one of the best players this season. He's half an, I think he's going to try and catch it, and I think he changes his mind. Highlights will be out later today, have a look at that. For me, 
he's going to catch, then he's, uh, and then he, so it gets hooked over his head, and it is just hooked over his head, let's not make out it's some magnificent World Cup scissor kick, do you know what I mean, that, that gets a player to move to Europe, no, it didn't, it's, it's just hooked over his head, and, and nobody's going to cover on line either, which is, anyway, Gregory's working hard, but we're not really doing up with ball, and and then a couple of a couple of times we do get ball. Sal whips one across on a, on a rare Wednesday foray into their area. Johnson's twenty yards away from Gregory. Gregory makes a good run near post. He's going to become an impact stick if you're playing to up front. And again, it doesn't matter if you're playing in schoolyard or international if you're that wide man over set you you've got to make the second striker when balls out of the wing i don't it, you can't get any more but we've got a front three and it's like that one there one there and one in the middle there's 20 yards between here the, the 40 yards like that across bit in gregory won another good flick on from a goal kick because we weren't creating much nobody anyone making that little no no way near him can't edit back to anybody. <sighs> They've got a kid called Broom, who I've never heard of. Run it midfield. Run it midfield. He's getting ball. He's charging 10, 15 yards. We had a challenge. <sighs> right, I said I wasn't going to run. I said I've got... I was going to talk through the, the moments of the game, the highlights of the game. I wrote some things there, but... It's hard to get weighed down with facts when you've seen little things and you think, well, that's not right, that's not right. And we did miss Dennis. Let's, that is massive. And apparently Dan and Mo says he could be out for 10 days. But what, with that and long goal, he can't play that midfield three. It's too milky. It's far too milky. They start rowing. This is all in the first 20 minutes. They start rowing, you can see finger pointing, and I thought, oh. Yeah, but now listen, there's, n there's nothing wrong with rowing. It happens from time to time on pitch. It happens. But I've always got a keen eye. Is that Junior in rowing about, here we are, man, blah, blah, blah. or is it a bit of mardiness? Because I don't like mardiness, me. And, well, I'll come back to that. But we're static. We're static on ball. We're standing still. Passes are going behind. <sighs> Static on ball, waiting till it gets there. Then having a look, but it's too late. Ding, somebody's in, they're nicking it off the top. And we had plenty of ball, by the way. We had plenty of ball. All around our 18 yard box again. It's, it, it were back to that. Lahukai, second, third season, Carlos, Monk. It, so it's back to that. <sighs> Got a couple of half chances. I mean, like I said, Sal puts a, a cross in. Johnson's half. Just edit. Edit or take a couple of steps back and volley. It. And it, it's sort of half and half with one leg and arm. And Palmer puts a shot just over bar. Well, just over bar. 10 yards over the bar. Uh, Probably 30, 35 minutes. We have a little spell, actually. It's a crap spell, but we have a little spell. And, and Plymouth just drop. And that's what it were. Dave come out all guns blazing. It, this went about Wednesday turning screw. Little spell from... That's a 32, 33 minutes up to break. Uh, although they nearly scored just on stroke at half time. They won't counter. But we had a little spell. But it, it was not to do with us really getting a grip at game. It was to do with fact Plymouth give everything. And then they're like, right. Half time, let's just keep it tight, have a little breather. So they just dropped off 10 yards and it probably gave us a little, little false sense of, oh, we're getting back in this, but we weren't. And we were never winning this game. There'll be, I know there's going to be a lot of talk about tactics in aftermath of this, and it, and it will be an aftermath because it was an absolutely terrible performance. But it, you know, it doesn't matter if you play three at back, 4-4-2, 4-3-3, it doesn't matter what you play, if the application is like it were here. Because the application weren't there. 25 minutes, half an hour. Dan and Moe's, Dan not touch light and he's gesticulating. But 
And that bias sort of shrugs at him and gives him a... No. No. Not having that. Out of being off. I swear to God. You, I, what am I going to do? Off. Second half. Possession. When does he have more of it? It's still poor. It's milky. It's passes behind man. Bannon picks it an half decent ball out for Sol, who sort of drills it. It's an half shot, half cross. I don't really, I don't really think he knew what he was doing. Yeah. But game plan, I'm not sure what game plan we're, we're, we. They squeeze is quite out pitch, right? Now Rotherham did that, and we said then there's going to be teams that are going to do that to us. But we did in that game. We'd sort of got a bit of a plan B because we've got Patterson stuck out on right hand side. And when Rotherham was squeezing us like that, talked about it in that match review, Peacock Farrell and centre halves would look, OK, we're going to have to go a bit longer. So they're either trying to flip one behind or they were looking for a, a, a bigger ball to Patterson, who's a big unit and he can hold it and then we can get closer and play around from there. Which worked with that, you know, that goal when Longo set him away and he just get out of the way so and put ball in for Canberra. There were none of that yesterday. It was just the same back four... Corbin who comes on the right. Uh, Bannon and Wing. Byers has got hooked by an axe. He's picked up a, a booking for, you know, being daft. It's a daft booking. Hutchinson gets a daft booking and all for the, for the lunge, which he probably could have hurt him sent as much as all else. So there's that side of it sneaking into things. Uh, Shadid Paul comes on. That means he's been out for ages. Um it's just it, 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 poor, poor. What? But it, you're going to play crap over the season. You're going to play crap. Sometimes you're going to get outplayed. Sometimes you're going to play crap and, and nick a result or, or a draw or whatever. But I don't like this attitude. I really don't like that. Um, a poor display, and it it shows you can't have. Everyone wants nice football. You can't have three ball players. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that system. What Dan Moore played, uh, and he's probably going to continue playing. It's more about balance. It's about the balance of it. The wide players have got to get in. I'd, I'd start to uh, better he know in next game because he's proved through his career that when he plays in them wide areas or behind the striker, he will get close to him. None of these are getting close to him. We said it from first week. Good players, they're working on it. They need to gel up top. If you're playing one up front, you've got to get round him. Otherwise, you, there's no point. And that's that's when you get, you know, sort of old fella saying, I hate one up front, I hate one up front. And that's what they mean when there's nobody round him. That's when you can start getting people screaming, we need to go back 4-4-2 four, four, and get two up front. Because 4-3-3 four, three, three is great if, if the players are doing it correctly. Get in, support Gregory, or Kimberly, whoever it is. You can't, oh, I'll stand out here at the corner, like, get in. Wingers like a 30 yarder in second half. I'm just having a look here, but no pressure. The th a 2 0. Oh, God, there. <laughs> 2 0. Their goal, their, their free kick, is completely unchallenged. It's lofted over. No pace on it, by the way. It's lofted over. Big centre half round back stick. Oldest routine in the book. Don't even have to edit. Don't have to get up. Don't have to challenge. He side foot sitting. A centre half in our box. Watches it over and side foot sitting. From a set piece. It's not open play. It's not all everyone's fucking going crazy around you know. Oh, oh I've lost my mat. He stood there. Side foot. Terrible. We swap things around. 50, 50 odd minutes. Go to a 4 2 3 1. Um, better he know sort of in the hole.
crap as you are, as crap as you are. 2 0. And it doesn't matter how much they dominated the game in terms of chances, and they had. And I'm not taking out away from Plymouth here, by the way. I'm not, you know, they got a game plan and it worked. They, they were hassling us and harrying us. Not that they had to do it too well because we were so sloppy with ball. But it doesn't matter what team it will do. You know, 2 0, if opposition score and make it 2 1, don't matter who you are in the world, there's that little five minutes of, of panic that is. It, it, at every level, it happens. Get one, they're a bit rattled. Corbin who gets a chance, literally, he's just get it on target, Edda, get it, and he's like, tries to cushion it down, I don't know too, there's nobody near, there's nobody near, and then he's like, Ugh. and you can see his head, he knows, he's, um, should he pull us down, desperate attempt to try and sort of win as a penalty, uh, but noting it, noting it, <sighs> this is just me now, I didn't mind them pink shirts. I didn't mind them pink shirts. But I'm, I'm looking at it from a Plymouth point of view. Sheffield Wednesday coming here. I think they're a big club in the in the pink shirts showing off. That's how that's how it's affected me, Ed. Showing off with a pink shirts, Bertie Big Bollocks. Oh, we, we've I tell you what, Plymouth aside, whoever it is, we've got to get used to this. And I'm not giving it pretty big bollocks up when he's a big club and better than them and this and the other. But, make no bones about it, this is going to happen every other week when we're away from home. But I said it the other week, Morecambe, ice gate they've ever had in their history. That's going to happen every time we go away from home. Every time we go away from home. Sheffield Wednesday is going to be their, their biggest gate of the season. It's going to be ramp, it's going to be carnival atmosphere because they're desperate, desperate. It's a big day out, and I, 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 like I said, I'm not being very big bollocks. Wednesday is a big day out. The, the entire towns are going to be there, and it's going to happen wherever we go. And um, Cheltenham, Accrington, wherever. It's going to happen. And we're going to have to get used to that. You've, you've got to, you've got to stand up and be counted. It's different at home, yeah, but away it, it is. It's, that's going to happen every single week, and and. Mm. Mm, you, you can't. You know you've got to get stuck, and that's why. That's why you need players like Adenarin, Dennis the Menace. That's why you need play. I'd let the one go go me. He'd never fit. That's games like that yesterday. Games like that. That is why. You need the one goals in your squad. He wouldn't have been milking it. He'd have been in. Bang. Let's have some of that, son. Yeah, you know, comes on, he has an half chance. I don't even know why I bothered with these notes. Uh, I said, Wing has a 30 yarder, Bannon has a 30 yarder. No physicality in that side. Now, like I said, I know Dennis the Menace is out. I don't understand why Johnson's gone on to it. I don't, unless Jaden Brown's injured, I do not understand that at all. Because he gives you that little bit of physicality down that side. He gives you that momentum, stamina. We talked about it for the last three or four weeks. He's a long buster. He will work his socks off all day. Not enough of that yesterday. I don't want him down. Plymouth dictated the rhythm of that game from the first minute. From the first minute. I mean, I'm not saying they were long ball because they weren't long ball. That's, but they were direct. When they got ball, they knew straight away what they were going to do. They were in. They rattled us, usually on one of our sloppy passes or someone who weren't expecting to get ball. They were in and it were played. One touch and then it were played. And it would either, like, behind the full back. Into, and every pocket of space that there was... They weren't looking for the man. It went in straight into the pocket and somebody got in after it. Like rats up a drain pipe. That was their plan. Don't look for your man. Look for the space. Get in the space and whoever's free, you're, you're in there and after it. And, that, and they did that time and time again. And they completely dictated tempo of that game. And I tell you what. Demo's gone down here. 
got 1900 of them. Of course, Dad and Moore at end, he takes them all over, makes them, you know, a plot of flans, we're all in this together, you know, because one or two's tried to drop shoulder and get that tunnel. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen every week, this. Every time we're away from home. Mansfield, Morecambe, Accrington. It's going to happen. Better get used to it. Better get used to it, because we're not going to have things his own way. We have got a good squad. I really do think we have got some quality players. I think Darren Moore has built a really, really good side with some real quality in there. But when you're on the road, you're not going to have things your own way. That's when it's not about how good a player you are. That's when it's not about how many men you can beat. That's when it's not about how, how slick you are. That is when about how big are your bollocks. That broom, never heard of him. They got a kid called Edwards had never heard of him. He went off injured, and thank God, because he was tearing as a new one. Right across that midfield, second best all day. Quality football as we've got in there. Quality football. Don't, being a quality footballer don't mean how if you're going to be shrugged off at ball, if if you're not going to check. Anyway, that's my match report.